Today's lesson is about subtraction of integers. But before anything else, let us try this one. 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. 6 minus 5 is equal to 1. It's very easy. Right? Now, what if there are positive and negative numbers? What are you going to do? Well, first and foremost, you must know that when you are subtracting both positive and the minuend is greater than the subtrahend, then the answer is positive. So let us now give examples of having positive and negative numbers in subtraction. In subtraction of integers, you have to take note that you need to add its opposite. Now, what is an opposite? For example, you have the following numbers. 5, negative 3, and then negative 8. The opposite of 5 will be negative 5. The opposite of negative 3 will be positive 3. And the opposite of negative 8 will be positive 8. Now, where are we going to use this opposite? For example, we're going to subtract positive and negative numbers. Say we have 10 minus negative 8. So again, you need to consider that you have to add its opposite. So what is the opposite of negative 8? We have 8. So again, it is said add the opposite. So we're going to add the opposite. And then from here, as you observe from 10 minus negative 8, it becomes 10 plus 8. Therefore, the answer will be 18. Another example, 6 minus negative 5. So what is the opposite of negative 5? We have 5. So again, we need to add it. Therefore, the answer will be 11. Okay, let us have example number 3. Say we have negative 8 minus negative 2. So again, we have negative 8 minus negative 2. So what is the opposite of negative 2? We have positive 2. Then we have to add. Now, do we need to find the opposite of negative 8? No. Negative 8 will remain because it is the minuend. We will have negative 8 plus 2. Therefore, from what we have studied about addition of integers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then we have 1. 
a pair of positive and negative numbers is equivalent to zero. Therefore, what's left? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So the answer is negative six. Let us have example number four. Negative 9 minus negative 4. So again, what is the opposite of negative 4? We have 4. And we're going to add it. Are we going to change? No. It will remain as negative 9. So when you add this, how many negative? 1. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And how many positive? 1, 2, 3, 4. So how many pairs of 0? We have 4 here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now what's left? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the answer will be negative Next one. Five. Negative two minus eight. Very carefully. Negative two minus eight. 18 here is positive. So the opposite of 8 will be negative 8. Then we're going to add and this will remain as negative 2. So addition of both negative. So again from what we have studied, since there are both negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We will just combine how many negative. So we have negative n. Next one. For number six, say we have. 1 minus 9. So 1 is positive and 9 is positive. That is why 1 minus 9. Now what is the opposite of 9? This will be negative 9. Then we're going to add. Then this will remain the same. So you have. 1 positive and then 9 negative. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this will be 0. So how many left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Therefore, the answer is negative 8. Now, to find the difference, I will give you this example. Make sure that you're going to look its differences. So say we have 5 minus 3. So since they are both positive and the minuend is greater than the subtrahend, 5 minus 3 is as simple as 2. It is equivalent to 2. So this is our answer. What if we have 5 minus negative 3? <laughs> Again, change it to its opposite. So 
we have positive 3. Then we're going to add and just copy. So the answer is 8. Next one. If we have negative 5 minus 3. So 3 in here is positive. So it becomes negative 3 plus this will remain the same, negative 5. As you observe, they are both negative, and so the answer is negative 8. And then, we have negative 5 minus negative 3. Negative 5 minus negative 3. The opposite of negative 3 in here is positive 3. So we're going to add it to negative 5. The 2 negative will be left. Another example. Say we have 4 minus 6. They're both positive, but 4 is less than 6. So, in here, you're going to do this one. Add its opposite. The opposite of 6 is negative 6. Then you're going to add it to 4. Now, in here, so from the addition of integers, you have 4 positive and then 6 negative, so you'll be having negative 2. We forgot, you have 1, 2, 3, 4. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This will be 0. That's why our answer is negative 2. This one. 4 minus negative 6. The opposite of negative 6 is 6. And you're going to add it. 4. So the answer is 10. Another. Negative 4 minus 6. So the opposite of 6 is negative 6. So you're going to add, then you have negative 4. As you observe, they are both negative. Therefore, the answer will be negative 10. So as you can see, both positive, both negative. But the sign in here is positive and the sign in here is negative. Last one. We have negative 4 minus negative 6. So the opposite of negative 6 is positive 6. And you have to add a negative 4. So have 4 negative and then 6 positive, the answer will be 2. Why? You forgot 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6 positive. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this will be equivalent to 0. Now, in here, what we have. Positive 2. That's all.